Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we will see about bearer authentication. So, bearer tokens are a much simpler way of taking API request since they don't require cryptographic signing of each request. The trade-off is that all API requests must be made over an HTTPS connection since the request contains a plain text token that could be used by anyone if it were intercepted. So bearer authentication, it is also called token authentication, is an HTTP authentication scheme that involves security tokens called bearer tokens. So the bearer token is a cryptic string usually generated by the server in response to a login request. The client must send this token in the authorization header when making requests to protected resources. First, we will be seeing how we can generate the unique token for this. So here, I am having a domain name over here. This is a method. I have used post method and then in auth we will be setting the basic auth then username then password after this we will be going towards our body we will be setting it raw and then setting the json file i will be passing the username and password for generating the token Just send this. Here we will be getting a token in response, then password, uh, the expiration time of token, and username. Then I will be using this token to generate some product information. So for this, just choose a method and i want this domain name or this url this is the domain name and this is the api after this in auth we will be setting it to no auth then as i said that the client must set this token in the authorization header when making request to protected resources. So this line itself justified that we have to provide the token that we have generated previously that, that is this token. We have to pass this in the headers. So in key I will be writing authorization and its value will be bearer space the token which was generated Now in body, select raw, then JSON, then I will be setting, let's say some view index and view size.
and send it so we are getting the response now which is the details of the product so in this way we have pro provided that token in the authorization header and make the re request for fetching the product details we can also use for this api as well So in this way this bearer token is used for fetching the information. Uh, let's see an example of how we have used this token in our app. So this is an interceptor inside that we have used this token authorization like this here we are getting the token information from get user token that is we are storing this in a token mutation that we have created and we are getting this from this getter So basically this is the way we can generate a bearer token and we can use to make some request. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.